He's like, good morning. So welcome to the family. Good, beautiful, cool morning here at the Max. Welcome to the homestead. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please click below, subscribe, so there's always something fun happening here on the farm. Um, today, we're actually going to be moving some cows. We've got the calves, of course, Josie and the new one, Kristoff. Of course, y'all saw in the last video. But um, we've got to move them the fresh grass it's been rainy we are gonna leave uh elsa and her new baby right here but we're gonna take daddy o josie uh even ike and beauty and then Allie all across let them get on some fresh grass uh hey you can say hey are you in the way are you gonna just chill in my video she wants this bucket of feed <laughs> all right let's get all the rest of them rounded up move them over here and then we're gonna do our normal walk you hear the new baby the new baby is very vocal. So. You got a vocal sh uh, he is? <laughs> Fun times. That field, we're gonna get uh, Ike and Beauty over, the meat over, and uh, that way they can join the dairy and then we're going walk them behind the greenhouse and see some of the pretty green fields we got over there. Come on guys. Come on beauty. Hip it. Come on girls. Come on buddy. Say girls. Girl. Come on. This field. We're in just pure mud at the bottom. Ah. Oh. Beauty girl. Hip it. Keep it! Keep it! Keep it! Hank. Look at the little calf. Where's the little calf at? Kristoff. There you go. Alright, got the other cows over. We're gonna bring Elsa and the baby back. Go! I got you some feed. Come on. Come on, Kristoff. He's a, a bright little baby. Yeah, he's not in, he's not timid at all, which is surprising because his mom is very timid. Come on. Good job, buddy. Good job. Now we have 10. Um, and uh, three of them, our big bull and our two beef heifers are up the other fields. And y'all have seen those in prior videos. But to move seven cows, especially being two being one a brand new calf and one that's just about three months old. That went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to go. So we've got them back over. You can see the field's still green. It's still got some good growth, but it's got some mud too. So we're going to give those two fields a rest. And I'll probably put some cottonseed meal on them just to kind of give them some healing time, get some nitrogen on them. And that way they'll be good. They're on brand new fields that we hadn't had anybody on for about 45 days. And then the other fields are not and they hadn't had cows on them right at 55 to 60 days so very good rotational plan going on if you'd like to know more about our rotational plan drop a comment below go back and watch some of the rotational grazing videos that we've got but uh hey i've, I've been very pleased with that so we're gonna move the water buckets and then we're gonna kind of get started on what we really plan on doing today uh the plan for today is really uh we're gonna be taking if you remember our our i'm sorry about the sun guys it's kind of bright out here if you remember our raised beds that are made next to our hugoculture but they're made out of a uh, flat basically pallets we're going to fill in those holes so that way we have a little bit more containment of uh some of that new soil that we're putting in all that older soil that's composted it held together really well but now this new soil we're putting on top is real loose 
so it's falling through the hole. So we're going to go ahead and close those up and probably build two more raised beds. Uh, also, we're going to be doing some moving of chickens too. So we got a lot of things happening today. So uh, join us and we'll have a good time. This could be dangerous right here. This could be dangerous. Laugh on that. Uh, and for instance, the heifers moved on. Go. So let's go see if we can get her in. All right, we're in fresh grass. Look at this gorgeous, lush grass they've got. I mean, it's ankle deep on them. This will make them happy. Now, I did not get, I had to put Josie back in that permanent fence because she would not come over. She acted like a complete fool. But um, all the rest come over. Daddy O's still kind of by the gate, but he's in the same field. So I'm going to let them eat this. This will be good for uh, Mama over there, Allie. Now her baby, I'll move her back over with her baby in just a little bit and let her feed the baby and, you know, bring the baby back over here at that point. I'll tell you another thing I wasn't really proud of doing. I shouldn't have done it. I caught myself in trying to um, be smarter. Work smarter, not harder, you know, kind of thing. So that's why I buy a bigger water tank for the cow. It's the one I use for the, the babies, uh, the, the meat bird babies. So I was like, well, that'll double as a, a cattle trough. And that way I don't have to fill it up as much. Well, I don't have to fill it up as much, but I can't when I move because I'm such a rotational grazer. I can't just dump this tank. It's too big. So when it's got half full of water, I can't dump it. So I have to come and actually open it up with a pen, uh, pair of rich or channel locks. So, note to self, if you're moving your cows a lot, just buy a 100, 150 gallon tank, not 250 or 300, because it just takes extra time. It's easier to turn the water on and walk away just for a little bit and get some other things done than have to take the channel locks and open this thing up every time you need to get into it and move it. So, uh, just one more step of needing to get other stuff done and don't have time to do it. So I get got to open the water. So this tank is way too big. It's, I think, 250 to 300 gallons. I don't have to fill it up, but I can't I'm just dump it and move it like I can the other ones, the smaller ones. There's nothing prettier to see cows on grass, especially after all the rain we've had. Uh, how nasty it's being now. Here's what we're gonna do. All right, you see I have the one net moved over there and it's it's ready for, for actual chickens to go in. We've moved it off where the corn was last year, where the permaculture bed was originally. It's moved one set over, so they're gonna work on that area next, which will be a, kind of a late fall, or excuse me, early fall garden. Now this, as you see all this, now this is where our greens were. You see it's got some grass in it. We picked it, we actually got about 12 to 15 gallons total of greens. It's still got tons left, but it's just too much for us to pick. So what we're going to do is now use our second net and put it over all this right here. Take this silage tarp up, have this here, and pretty much this will be where the chickens move after that. We'll move their mobile chicken coop, put it right here over these beds, and let them just eat, 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 and then cover it back up. And this will be for our late fall, early spring next year. So you're always trying to plan ahead. So basically, all this will be covered. And of course that'll be covered and this is actually where we will work gardening this year and this about it's about seven thousand square foot place right here um it's been covered since last summer late summer ending it up so we will actually uh get that covered i mean get that uncovered as we get ready to plant now just a little a little look in here uh, right next to old bessie we got our topsoil delivery it's looking great this is a composted topsoil from last year that's had some hay mixed in it just junk, old pine straw, old, old just stuff, leaves. So we'll utilize some of that mixed with this. Oh, look at the bees. They're just so beautiful today. They're out. So, you know, there's a lot of good things going on. We're going to try to work on some of that probably in the next video. Um, but really, we're going to try to finish this video up by checking on the rest of the cows and then getting to putting the wood on that uh, other, other area of um, raised bed.
All right, you see I have a lot more wood than I really need, but what I'm gonna do is also build a little corral with this, kind of like um, we have on the back side of our shed, way back there, our barn. We're gonna build one on the dairy stanchion side too. That way we have, you know, another way to kind of get the calves in there with the cows, because this morning was a little challenging just because the calves are not used to going with their mom. So we're gonna put one over, you know, right here and encapsulate that a little bit better. And uh, we got extra wood for that. Now it's not something we're gonna do anytime probably today or tomorrow, but it'll be in the next few videos, you'll see it. So we've got the main wood loaded for our raised beds. So let's go get started. All right, we're gonna go get our tools to get started. I wanna show you a little update on the, the Hugo culture beds. We went through some coldness, but look at our broccoli. It's starting to really do well, starting to floret right there. We've got some broccoli here. I've got some cabbage there, some more cabbage. This is all broccoli. It's starting to put heads way down there, if you can see them. So uh, we're excited about that. We're actually gonna plant some more broccoli. So that way this will come into season and pretty much we'll roll in with the next one at that time. Here. This is a form of cabbage. We did not know, we actually got a wrong seed packet, I think. Uh, it's beautiful heads of cabbage. We've been eating his lettuce, to be honest with you, almost like a kale. It's very strong, but it's, it's a great, great, uh, great quality, and it's grown exponentially. So we're, we've been feeding a little to our animals, our pigs and all. Our lettuce is doing okay. It's, it's kind of got burned from the, from the coldness. Our spinach is doing wonderful. And this is some more, uh, basically some more cabbage over here and kale. Uh, our, you'll see our Swiss chard in here too. It's doing okay. It got bit a little bit from the coldness, but you know, it is what it is. It's not like we're like missing too much if we don't get our Swiss chard, but, but we're going to feed some of this to the pigs. It's what we've been doing that helps us on our feed and we don't have to pay as much for feed because we're growing it. All right, see, has, I'm just filling in the holes. Uh, I've got to cut the ends off, but, um, you know, it just, it basically cases this in. See, before this, uh, this old hay was against it and it was piled up good but now that we're putting more topsoil in there it just keeps coming out so what we're going to do is actually just close up every side so you see where it's going to come through saws all that we'll close in these other sides of each one of these beds and these will be more i'd say usable beds for more things but this one give it a clean crisp look and also uh like i said just give it a completed look but also make more sense especially since we're adding more soil because all this soil is great and it's compacted well and it's not moving but you can't get them any higher because sorry we're on chicken break uh you can't get them any higher because all the loose soil is still coming out so we've got to make uh provisions for that which is what we're doing and we're gonna cut these ends off three sides done one more to go on this one and then we'll knock these out and we'll be finished And there you have it. They are completely done. They're wrapped. That way I can pour more topsoil in there to make sure it holds up good. Uh, we got to level them up a little bit and those kind of things. But you think about it. We spent $8 originally on, on pallets, which was dirt cheap. I turned around and bought 27 or 28 um, basically fence boards at $2 and I think 37 cents a piece at Home Depot. So I don't have but what? 30 times three roughly if you said it like that you know not a lot in it i mean 90 bucks worth of lumber and you've got and then but it's got the stabilization of the flats so these are not going anywhere and they look pretty nice you know they, they have a clean look to them a lot better than they did so they look good 
we're happy with them they're done now it's time to grow thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed our video god bless you and keep keep coming back to the max god bless you happy homesteading y'all